Hello beautiful and wonderful people. Welcome back to Jinamon channel. If you are new here, it's so great to have you. Please don't forget to follow my page and subscribe to my channel as well. In today's recipe, I'll share with you how to make homemade chicken seasoning. This is good or best for your chick for seasoning your chicken stews and even your jello fries. Let's get started. In the saucepan, I added in oil followed by chicken braise. The chicken braise, I chopped it into smaller pieces, tiny pieces, tiny cubes. I then added in chopped celery, chopped onion, bell peppers. The bell peppers I'm using red, yellow and green. I added in zucchini and carrots. The last ingredient that I added in was chopped fresh rosemary. I'll stir this together to well combined, cover it and let it cook for about 7 to 10 minutes. So I'll cover it here and let it cook for that minute. After 7 to 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and open it and then add in the salt. You need much salt here. I'll list the exact amount of the ingredients that I used in the comment section or in the description box below. I'll stir this together to well combine again and then cover it and let it cook for about 5 to 7 minutes again. So as you can tell here, it has started, the veggies have started um, releasing water. That is okay because of the salt that I added it to it. So I'll cook it for about 7 minutes more again and then I'll transfer it to my blender. So as you can tell, there's still liquid in. The liquid will help it blend. You want a smooth paste a smooth paste so does it i'll go ahead and blend it and when you are done blending this is how it should look like make sure it's smooth just like so i'll then transfer it back into my saucepan and then cook this for about 7 to 15 minutes so guys you want to go ahead and cook it until the liquid in the veggies evaporate you don't want to see any liquid in it so as you can see or as you can tell here it's creamy i'll cook it please stay close to it and keep stirring if not it will get burned at the bottom of your pot this does not take long at all so keep stirring until it thickens up as you can tell here it's thickening up we are still not there we will get there and when you when you get to this point like this it's ready you can tell there's no liquid it's a bit solid now just look at it when you get to this point you are the right you've reached your destination <laughs> so I'll take it and transfer it into my baking pan or baking tray make sure to spread it and make sure it's um, flat like when you spread it evenly it's easier for it to get ready but then if it's thick it will take long for it to bake or for it to get ready in the oven as you can tell i even use my fork to create holes in the middle so that it will get dry. after i'll place this in the oven at 150 degrees celsius for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes just look at it as you can tell from the video the first the surface is dried out so i'll stir it to well combined again and then place it in the oven at 150 degrees celsius for another 10 minutes and after 10 minutes does it guys you want to do this until this dries out but then if you take it if you put it in the oven for a long time it's going to get burned and you're not going to get a, a good result so even here when you when you break it it's still break but it has not dried out completely i'll then place it lastly at the oven at 150 degrees celsius for 10 minutes again and that's it guys this is completely dried and as you can tell from the video when i break it breaks just like so that's what you're looking for so i'll leave it for it to cool down completely before putting it in my coffee grinder and grind this until smooth once it dries completely i'll transfer it into my coffee grinder and grind this for about 30 seconds you do not want it to go smooth but if you don't have a coffee grinder you can put it in the blender and blend it the blender is going to make it smooth than the coffee grinder but then it's all the same thing after i'll go ahead and save it and you are good to go so this is it guys this is best for stews for soups for seasoning your chicken even your meat and it's it makes it so so delicious it's fresh no chemicals added to it and guys it's only salt that i use once you don't add anything liquid any spoon that is liquid to it you are good to go this could last for months 
even ages <laughs> once you don't add in anything liquid so if you're adding if you're bringing some make sure your spoon is dried before bringing it i hope you really enjoyed watching see you in my next video bye bye